I don't think we can handle two of these. <laughs> All right, we got the hype train continuing here. We got Piggot's Insult subscribing with Prime, digging the tag. Thank you so much for subscribing to BGBC and helping support oh, no. the Speaking Smash of community. which, thank you so much to River Gods for the tier one sub. Just giving us a little bit more time with the lights on so we can finish this bracket out. And now it's time to get into grand finals. Sharp not running the Joker, despite the Joker being the thing that sent Riddles to losers. I feel like this man just kind of like throws darts at, a, at the wall and decides on the does. Characters. He does do that on Wi-Fi. I know he has the wheel of characters that he runs for Wi-Fi tournaments. Yes. <laughs> um, he, he does like tournament runs without running the same character twice. Like he just picks a different character for every game, win or lose. And he'll like get top eight running like 20 different characters. But speaking of running, Riddle's going to be running him right into the blast zone. train right now. This man seems to know the wolf matchup. It's, if you want to go ahead and land these stray hits, these disjointed aerials on my shield, I hope you keep it safe because I'm going to pummel you if you miss. Does manage to get the trade right there is Sharp, and we are in an even spot for stock two. Thank you so much to King Cheese 69 Maybe uh, seeing a little bit of their, their namesake. Riddle's cheesing out a couple stocks here. Appreciation. Riddle's trying to go ahead and just force this man into the corner. Feels like whenever Riddle's has full stage control, this character becomes incredibly terrifying. I see people in chat comparing it to Smash 4 Bayo, and I can see where you're going with that, but trust me, this is not Smash 4 Bayo. <laughs> Sharp with the F-Tilt off stage, getting Riddle's in a, in a bit of a bad situation. Tries to land with Nair, but He's just very content to get back to center stage and keep throwing out these hitboxes. Eventually, one of them's going to hit, and eventually, Sharp will suffer. Devil Engine active yet again. It's the down throw. And Trap situation continues. That back area is going to clean up that stock, just like my man Qatar Line is going to clean up the Twitch chat, hitting us up with that tier one subscription. Thank you so much. Pipe Train continues, y'all. I just want to get finals. They're just trying to get us to say their weird names. Exactly. <laughs> Chat, as long as it's appropriate, we will say your weird name. I promise. All right. So right now, Wolf trying to go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure with that projectile, force himself out of the corner. And Riddles, he just trying with these uppercuts. He just needs one hit to maintain Damn. control. The laser very nearly claiming that stuff. But Sharp gets the grab on stage, tries to chase Riddles, but gets caught by the up throw instead. So that's going to take the stock away. Now, 104 to zero percent, but it's a little bit more even than it seems. Riddle's going to try and chase in, but gets caught by the Nair. Sharp has to do his absolute best to keep him boxed out at all times, because the second he gets in, this gap starts to close. 155 means full rage, but literally the landing fair did 12 percent. This character does so much damage. Grab into the F throw, going to get a little bit more on the board. 181, but Riddle still surviving due to some good DI. Using the laser to get back up on the stage. Lands with Fair. Sharp. He's in trouble. He gets the dash attack. 192. Riddles might be living to post 200%, but I spoke too soon. Because Sharp's going to chase with the Nair, get the stock and the game. Hey, he lasted to 201 before getting his clock cleaned but that is enough for game one here for Sharp. In addition, we have a few people we need to give shout outs to. We got my man KBorg64 hitting us up with five tier one subs to the community. Thank you so much. And thank you. make that six. Six actually, welcome to everybody. We got Crimsy, we got The Paul, and then we got my man JC who have all hit us up with the Prime subscriptions or Tier 1 subscriptions as well. Welcome, everybody, to the community. You are in for a treat right now. Same thing to Arcane Envy. Thank you as well for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome again to the community. And, well, you're going to see if Riddles can make his way back into this set. Sharp looking very, very confident in the matchup so far, but Riddles off to a good start in this game number two. He's certainly happy that he got to take Wolf to Smashville. Tries to get the ledge trap, tries to get the boot. He actually just chased that down. You can't run for me. Gets on the platform. Oh, bye-bye. That'll just barely clean it right there. Sharp almost surviving their great DI, but Riddles knows his win con. Air dodge, it feels like Riddles is so slippery with this character's recovery, too. This is not a character that has a ton of great air mobility or air speed, but he's just slipping by every single time. I mean, it is relatively safe, Kazuya's up B. It's, it's hard to punish because there's the big old hitbox up above him. Riddles looking for that down smash spike hitbox off the ledge, but Sharp gets out underneath it, tries to chase there, gets the grab instead, and Sharp's trying to take the stock here. Riddles loses Devil Engine. 
dash attack. I don't know that he has the double jump right here. There is the clank with the neutral air, and he got a little bit extra percent, but I'm sure Riddles is not happy with the way that that one finished off. Ooh, okay, sharp. I respect that so much, Sharp. And he got the the good hitbox, too, on his up B. But he might be dead because of it. No, Riddles does not decide to opt for the edge guard. Let's him get back up and on, and he's instead going to be punished with the dash attack for his troubles. You know, you, you, you're kind to a guy. You let him get back up on stage, and he just dash attacks. You're so rude. Landing with Bear, tries to get the hit, but Riddles punishes the F Smash charge with a couple of jabs, gets the nice multi-hit into the kill. He's looking very, very good in the second game, despite going down 1-0. And now we're in that spot where Riddles keeps losing his Devil Engine. He loses his comeback mechanic here again, as Sharp is just playing around that so well. Gets the up tilt, but not quite gonna finish off. 177%, the back third should do it, and we are in a last stock situation. Zero to 9.7%, Riddles gets the first hit in, but Sharp very quickly follows it up with a lot of his own, gets the F tilt, gets the laser, is getting everything off stage, making it absolute hell in the nair, going to steal Riddles' double jump away. I believe he thought he still had it, so he tried, didn't go for the up B, and instead just going to fall to his death in the blast zone. Sharp up 2-0. Looking to close this out without a reset. So this is tournament set here, potentially for Riddles. Has to go ahead and get one of those turn up moments. And if there's anybody that can do it, it's him. We literally already saw it once. Oh yeah, exactly. We got two more people we got to shout out. Hazmat Rules and Cade, both hitting us up with the subs. Thank you again for helping join. Let's go Hazmat. Let's Definitely go. one of my favorite commentators and a big inspiration for me personally. So it's been a minute since I worked with Hazmat. We got to do that again one of these Big days. fan. But now running it into game number three. Riddles off to a good start, gets 42% picked up. Neutral air into forward tilt, battle fours. Riddles off stage. Just this ledge trapping by uh, Sharp using these lingering neutral airs has been so devastating. Tries to chase him off stage, but Sharp manages to get back safely, gets up onto the stage with the fair. The Riddles. I, I, I was that that was up tilt, buffer turnaround. Full hop back air. He's, he's got some kill. tech skill, don't he? he? He's got some tech. <laughs> he's pretty good at this video game. Gets the stun into the down air. Rinse Ooh. and repeat. Send that man off stage. And already Riddles is showing us a little bit extra, a little bit something, something here. But I do like that Sharp learned from the mistakes of ZD, his wolf predecessor in this matchup. That was a weird clank, but ZD several times tried to go for the get up against Riddles on the ledge and Riddles just booted him in the face. Well, here, Sharp did wait a little bit, but all that waiting did was prolong him getting up thrown. Couple blasters there by Sharp. Just kind of like putting Riddles on notice that I don't need to interact. That feel, does feel like something that ZD did not do too well in this matchup set. He was always going in on Riddles and Riddles was eating him alive for it. This time Sharp playing a little bit more defensively, not quite passively, I would say. Double dead. spike? He's dead. Riddles! JV? What? Wait. JV3! Isn't this exactly how Riddles began his comeback in his previous set? The more things change last, the more they stay the same. Riddles, he has been pushed to the brink so many times tonight, only to reverse the script and show us all what a competitor he is. What new terrors does he have in store for his opponent here in Grands? Keep in mind, though, that in order to take this tournament, he has to win two best of five sets against Sharp. And this one, Sharp's already currently up two, uh, or two to one now. So there's a lot of margin for error here for Riddles, not very much for Sharp. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. Now running it to Sharp's counter pick of Battlefield. I like this pick for Wolf, because it gives him a lot of room to, to sort of bob and weave around Riddles' touch of death. Trying to go ahead and get that Sun Force Sharp off stage, but not quite working out Riddles now. He has center stage. He is basically doing a very good job of covering landings all of a sudden, but Sharp bursts out with that dash attack. Also, remember what I said about Genova the last time Sharp was on stream? You're not wrong. It's the Genova counter pick. Sharp's looking strong, 106%, chases with the back air up onto the top platform, and gets the F tilt, yeah. that's gonna be the stock. Sharp, at the nicest percent possible, gets the first kill. 
And now the question becomes, what is the answer here? Riddles needs one of these linking hits, but Sharp is just doing a very good job of only getting hit by things that he knows he can take. He's not putting himself in spots where Riddles can get these combo starters. That's the exact same thing that we saw in the first two games. Gets the up throw into the up air, trying to chase with a little bit more, but a good air dodge from Riddles to We'll just get him back onto stage where he can get dash attacked, really. Crumple. Gets the crumple, and that's going to be the stock. 68% dealt already, and it's going to build up a little bit more thanks to this grab combo. Sharp's in a good spot. He just needs to hold steady. You mentioned that he was picking and choosing which hits he took and which he avoided, and I really like that. He's choosing his battles very smartly, knowing exactly what's going to result in death and what he can tank. Caught by the side B, though. This edge trap situation is terrifying for Sharp, but manages to bust out, gets a laser too, and then the up smash. It looks like that does take away the comeback mechanics of Riddles, forced to his last stock. What new tricks do you have? What more can you do that you haven't already shown us in this amazing run? I don't know if I would ask that because Riddles just dealt 109% over the course of like five seconds. Sharp though, still holding tight to this second stock, comes back to the stage. Trying to do a little bit more damage. Gets the fair Nair F tilt 57. Chases high up with the bear, but instead it's a bear of Riddles's. We're on the last stock in this high pressure situation. Looked like Sharp right there was committing hard to that back here. Not quite gonna connect. Ooh, what, 40% from that one interaction? Uh, why are we surprised anymore? Honestly, Sharp landing with the bear, looking for the F smash, gets a Nair instead. A little bit of a committal option, but no punish from Riddles is going to mean Sharp remains safe, and Riddles is playing this super carefully, has Devil Engine, and is about to get to full rage. I think that's it. But he needs to get back up onto the stage, and Sharp, making sure that that is not an option, just keeps punishing oh, with missed. the air dodge. I don't think he meant to hit the edge there, but he still gets the up air. It's not quite going to finish it off. Top platform up till Sharp takes the grind. A fantastic catch of the landing on top platform. Sharp makes up for his mistake off stage. Missed the Nair, but instead does such a good job of closing it out regardless. And he's your first place winner. No reset, no chips, no cigar. I mean, Riddles has put on a show tonight. This has been a heart pounding match. Game after game, we saw Riddles push to the brink and then only to bounce back with incredible comebacks. But unfortunately, after a long loser's run, his placement ends at second. But y'all, I want you to remember, this is not the comeback. This is the grind. This is the night before the big event tomorrow. We will have all the same players that you enjoyed seeing tonight back on the main stage for bigger stakes, more competition. So y'all best come back tomorrow. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll know. I'll, and I'll be, I'll be disappointed. We'll be disappointed. You, really want to, you really want to make me disappointed in you? Single tier, single tier. <laughs> but until then, I've been last, this has been Scabs. We've had such a good time holding it down on the mic for you tonight for some fantastic matches. And like we just said, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. But for now, good night. Take care, y'all.